morning students in this lecture we will study the last topic of this chapter evaporation what is evaporation the phenomena of change of liquid state of a matter to its vapor state at any temperature below the boiling point temperature of the liquid okay example wet clothes dry due to the evaporation of water present in it one more common example common salts can be recovered from sea water by the process of evaporation now we will explain the process of evaporation how it is possible to liquid molecules to change into its vapor state as we know the particles or molecules of liquid are not stationary and they have some kinetic energy at all temperatures the molecules or particles of liquid are colliding with each other and exchanging their energies during the process of collisions due to this some particles or molecules of liquid at the surface got sufficient energy to change their state from liquid to vapor okay now next one is evaporation causes cooling evaporation process causes cooling always why it is so the cooling caused by evaporation is based on the fact when the liquid evaporates it draws the latent heat of vaporization from the surroundings or anything which it touches we can take some examples for example first one is water kept in an earthen pot remains cool even in summers what happens the water in an earthen pot keeps on seeping from its tiny pores and keeps on evaporating and for this process particles of liquid takes latent heat of vaporization from the pot and water inside one more example when we put some acetone or perfume in our palm we get a cooling sensation because acetone or perfume absorbs latent heat of vaporization to change its state from liquid to vapor from our palm on hand only okay there are certain factors on which process of evaporation or rate of evaporation depends first one is temperature on increasing temperature the rate of evaporation of a liquid increases what happens on increasing temperature more number of particles or molecules of liquid have sufficient energy to change their state from liquid to vapor second is surface area on increasing surface area the rate of evaporation increases on increasing surface area what happens more number of molecules of liquid come to the surface of it and evaporation is a surface phenomena therefore rate of evaporation increases third factor is humidity of air the amount of water vapors present in air is known as humidity at a certain temperature air can hold only a definite amount of water vapors okay at low humidity rate of evaporation is high and therefore water evaporates rapidly okay similarly at high humidity 
rate of evaporation is low and water evaporates slowly uh, we can understand these factors which affect the rate of evaporation with the help of some examples first one is a cooler is quite effective in a hot dry day hot and dry day there are two conditions hot means increased temperature dry means low humidity these two factors favor the process of evaporation evaporation takes place at a faster rate under these two conditions and therefore cooler is quite effective in a hot dry day one more example we can see hot tea or milk from a saucer faster than from a cup as we know the surface area of saucer is larger as compared to the surface area of a cup therefore rate of evaporation of liquid here tea or hot milk is given rate of evaporation of liquid is faster from a saucer as compared to from a cup okay therefore it is we can see hot tea or milk from a saucer faster than from a cup okay now last topic related to evaporation is difference between evaporation and boiling as we know both these processes evaporation as well as boiling are the change of state of matter from liquid to vapor but what are the differences in these processes first one is evaporation it is the process of change of liquid into its vapor state at any temperature below the boiling point of liquid but bo boiling it is the process of change of liquid into its vapor state at a fixed temperature that is boiling point temperature of the liquid second point of difference is evaporation is a surface phenomena evaporation takes place only from the surface of a liquid boiling in this process change of state of liquid to vapor can take place from the surface as well as from below the surface of the liquid next difference third difference is evaporation process causes cooling but evaporation in evaporation no cooling is caused okay in a boiling process there is no cooling fourth difference rate of evaporation depends on many factors like temperature of liquid surface area wind speed humidity all these and boiling process while boiling process do not depend any on one of these factors okay students all of you do ncrt exercise questions answer and also inside book questions and answer in your notebook okay thank you